Hey, this is Jimmy from Jimmy's Rebuilders here. <laughs> How y'all doing out there? Hey, uh, cruising through the Copart side as usual. <laughs> and I found this uh, 1988 Chevy Blazer. I don't know what V10 stands for. <laughs> I don't know what that's for. <clears throat> but man, this thing, you know, these things are really hard to find. This looks like it. It's got the removable hardtop, which that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, but it didn't have the, I think, oh, wasn't the early one, didn't have the way it made like a convertible almost. It's, I, I can't remember. It's been too long ago. I think it's, yeah, I think the early ones were like that. But this, this, this does have the removable top on the bed there. It says it has 88,000 miles on it. It says it's got damage to the rear. And let's see, the, the only thing about this thing is located in Oregon, which I don't know if this thing's got any rust on it or not. It didn't, for the pictures, you couldn't really tell. I don't know, but it's got the wheels painted black, so... Sometimes you put the undercoat on those wheels, steel wheels, to keep from rusting or whatever. But uh, are you, But that may not be the case. You may just like black wheels on it. I don't know. But this thing's got rear end damage. Let's see what we got here. Let's see the damage. Did damage was not that bad here. It wasn't. Uh, well, I get the thing. That's that's this thing will run and drive just like it is. It says it's got a salvage title on it, but who cares on the '88 model where it's got a salvage title or not? I mean, I. I don't care. <laughs> you have a hard time even finding one of these. So who cares if it's got a salvage title or not? But this thing's automatic, four by four. But it looks like it's really hadn't been hadn't been. It looks like it's hadn't really been messed with. This is almost all original. This thing is in. I mean, it's not bad shape. Look at the interior of this thing. It just doesn't look like it's just uh, normal wear and tear on this thing. Look at the inside. Nope, nobody's been messing under the hood here. <laughs> <laughs> that is makes the horsepower flip that air cleaner. <laughs> See what else we got here. That uh, there's that, uh, but it, it doesn't look. It doesn't look like it's been repainted around there. But this thing's in pretty original shape for uh, for '88. Look, it's got. Uh, I suppose it's gauge package. It's just a normal gauge package on it. Nothing out of the ordinary here on that. But uh, it's got air and automatic. It's pretty pretty nicely equipped, I guess. It doesn't look like it's got power windows on it. Now it's got the crank up what it looks like on there. Yeah, that's you know I don't I don't mind that anymore. These new cars got so much electronics on them. It's, it's one less thing to go wrong. <laughs> but it says run and drive. I don't know what happens. You click this build sheet. I don't know what happens here. I use, sometimes they tell you stuff, but this doesn't. It's not really going to tell you much here. It looks like. No, I, no, it's not really telling you anything. Sometimes they'll tell you. You know, sometimes you click on it, they'll tell you a lot of the options and stuff on it. But this doesn't really tell us much here. And we could do a 360 on this thing, and go all the way around this thing. I guess, yeah. I mean, this thing looks pretty solid. Just looking at it, looks like it had some trim down the door here at one time, and it took that off, and which makes it pretty, pretty, uh, pretty bland with just all white. But uh, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, because it looks like it's yeah. That's what it. I don't know if that tape residue or it took the paint off. <laughs> it looked like it had a spare tire carrier on it at one time. I don't know if that's a factory option or not, but I'm not really sure. Man, this thing's pretty, this thing says it'll run and drive, so ooh, here's the interior picture. Let's see what happened to get the interior on here. Let's see what the interior what now uh, got uh, aftermarket radio wires hanging down. Carpet's uh, <laughs> you think you can tell that's the original carpet. Automatic in here, Chevy, yeah, Custom Deluxe. So this is Custom Deluxe. In Custom Deluxe, isn't that like the base model or something? Custom Deluxe, I'm not really sure, but anyway. Uh, at least it didn't have the rubber floor mat in it, which I don't mind if it didn't. That doesn't bother me, the rubber floor mat. But anyway, all right, well, that's it. I just thought I'd, I'd pass this on. Anybody's looking for a Chevy Blazer, uh, I might have found you one. <laughs> These things are really getting hard to find, and this doesn't seem like a whole lot wrong with it. You could probably... Get this thing up and running without much much to do about anything anyway don't think about it, it's in oregon it's going to take a while to get here and cost a lot of big a lot of a lot of money yeah what do you yeah two thousand dollars to get it to my house wow wow how about that well that's uh you got to figure that price in <laughs> anyway i'll let y'all go till i find something else but uh, anyway uh i'll talk to y'all later bye